Alright guys, it's uh, Greg here and welcome to the starting 11 show for Aston Villa versus Everton. Uh, I've just finished Marco Silva's press conference and I'll let you know uh, some of the highlights of what he said. Um, he said Dinia's fit and will be available, uh, so is Leighton Baines um, and Delph should be match fit again by next week, he's ready in training. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the highlights he covered in terms of the squad. Uh, so getting to the team. Um, I think we're not going to see any changes defensively. I, I don't think there's much to talk about there. We've been very good in the first two games of the season. You know, we're the only the only team to have not conceded yet. So I really don't see why Marcus Silva would, would change anything there. Uh, you know, and and seeing as Dinia is fit, uh, you know, there's no need to replace him anyway. So um, you know, Pickford in goal, Coleman at right back, uh, Keener and Mean, who have been a great partnership so far, and uh, Luca Dinia carrying on his face at left back. The real question um, is in central midfield, uh, obviously Gomez has made that position his, but uh, now that Schneiderlin is back from his suspension after picking up um, two yellow cards against Palace, uh, will he take back his space or will Marco Silva think, let's keep uh, JP in there for a little while um, and let him carry on his momentum and building into the squad? I think, personally, if this was a home game, maybe Marco Silva would have said um, Gabamin, you stay in that position and um, you know carry on where you're going because uh, you know he's been good so far um, obviously he's play played a few misplaced passes but he's also trying a lot of forward passes uh, he's more progressive than I think uh, Schneiderlin is um, but you know he's got, he needs time to adjust to the league uh, a little bit um, but seeing as we're on the road I think Marco Silva's um, Priority is going to be defensive stability, and he knows what he's getting more with Morgan Schneiderlin. You know, he's a very experienced player. So personally, I think because it's an away game, and because we're looking for that third clean sheet in a row, I think Marco Silva is going to give Schneiderlin the nod to go ahead and start next to Gomez in the midfield. Uh, we've then obviously got um, Gilfie Sigurdsson will probably start in that that space just in front of those guys. Uh, finish off the midfield three. Uh, you know, he's been quiet so far, but. Uh, and, he, and he's getting a lot of critics, but I can't see anyone else who's going to be stronger in that position at the moment. Um, then on to the front three, where I've said our defence has been very strong so far. Where we could have some improvement would be in the uh, in the front three, in the strike force. You know, throughout pre-season and in the first two games of the season, we're just not, you know, we're not creating enough goals, we're not creating enough chances either. Uh, our creativity is still lacking. And if we're going to see some changes, I think it could be in the front three. Um, so, you know, let's discuss what might be changed there. Um, I think Richarlison will keep his place um, in the team. Marco Silva proved last week, bringing on Walcott for Richarlison, that he likes to keep continuity in that space. So, you know, we're not going to see anything um, anything rash like a Wobi going out there. Um, you know, as he bought on Walcott, uh, he likes to, uh, to replace a right-foot player with a right-foot player, a left-foot player with a left-foot player. He likes to... Um, know how his attacking line is going to going to change very specifically um, so you know I don't think Walcott will start in the position so I think Richarlison keeps his space um, on that side of the pitch uh, then the question could be over Awobi or Bernard I think Bernard has helped himself quite well by getting that goal last week and listening to Marco Silva talk about Awobi in pre-season uh, I don't think Marco Silva is completely convinced Awobi's fit enough yet either he said you know he's in he's only had two training sessions with the squad or two, two weeks worth of training sessions um and uh, let me let me just work out exactly what the wording is I, I sort of wrote it down somewhere um he he made it quite clear that he didn't think a way he start he said he could like utilize him in a game if he needed to uh but sort of said over 90 minutes or, or gave the impression that for for a full 90 minutes he wasn't convinced yet uh, so, you know, I think we'll see Bernard staying in that position. Then, Calvert-Lewin versus Moise Keane up front is obviously always going to be a question. And for me, uh, this is the time that Moise Keane gets the, the go-ahead to start. You know, he's come on and he's shown flashes of um, of physicality and, um, you know, taking on shots. And he's just looked more active than Calvert-Lewin's looked over 60 minutes in the 30 minutes he's been on. Um you know, it's the time where we can experiment with our front three before we find something that properly gels for the rest of the season. You know, rest assured, we can be rest assured defensively that that's all that's all covered at the moment. 
So I think uh, I think throw Moise Keenan for 90 minutes and um, and see what he does. Uh, so that being said, the team looks like this: uh, Jordan Pickford in goal, uh, the back line of Seamus Coleman, Yerry Mina, Michael Keane, and Luca Dean, um, Schneidlin and Gomez uh, holding with Sigurdsson in front, and then a front three of Richarlison, Moise Keane, and Bernard. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Tell me if you agree, disagree. Um, let's hope that by the end of Friday we're top of the Premier League. Eh? Cheers, guys. See you next time.